I see that this is only counties and not special districts. And if we take, again, uh, I'll be very specific about my district, which um, had the worst fire prior to the Santa Rosa and the, uh, uh, that Santa Rosa and Paradise ended up being worse than the Oakland Berkeley Tunnel fire in terms of both lives lost and structures damaged and such. But for a good 20 years there, that the oh, called to cut, I mean, the Oakland Berkeley fire was the worst in the state's history. And it's only just a matter of uh, wind patterns or luck that we haven't had another one there. And the next one could be that bad there. And it is the special districts that offer fire services in that area. Some, much of it is uh, uh, land, for example, under East Bay Regional Park District, which has a fire department. Um, much of the cell towers are also on that land. And there's just, there are certain special districts that either manage a lot of land in the WUI, in the urban wildland interface, or that provide fire services. And so thus, they, their role in the, in the power shutoff, we wanna make sure that they are adequately pre are adequately resourced so that a power shutoff does not impede their ability to provide the emergency services that they provide. So I just raise it because the way this is structured, they would not have access to any of these funds. So I think those are the kinds of discussions that we need to have and to make sure that the trailer bill is directed towards the highest need areas that are both the most likely to experience, and we'd have all the data, uh, the, uh, a serious wildfire, and that will be most impacted by power shutoffs. So that uh, is why I would approve the allocation, but with placeholder trailer language so we can figure out the way, best way to allocate that 50 million.